Hi and welcome to the Digit Fiddler version 1.31 update video. We have two new features in this version and both are related to mono spacing. So here I've just got some text counting up pretty simple. And as we can see, the paragraph alignment is set to left. So any additional characters get added to the right. Um, if we turn on mono spacing, for example, we can see that that's the same. The characters get added to the right. But we had a customer who wanted the numbers to get added to the left. So we've added in this text alignment and currently it's set to left, but we can set it to right. And you'll notice that when we do, the text sort of jumps out of sync with the uh, bounding box. And that's because the paragraph should also be set to right align if we're going to be using right alignment. And now the extra characters will get added to the left. And that will also affect the tracking. So now the tracking is going to start from the right hand side. If we were to swap back to left alignment, we can see the tracking happens from the left. And if you're using center alignment, the tracking will happen from the center. Also, if you're using text alignment center, just keep the paragraph set to left. So always keep the paragraph set to left unless you're doing right align. And in that case, the paragraph line must be set to right. The second feature that we have is compatibility with the vertical type tool. So uh, by default, the Digit Fiddler preset creates a text layer set to horizontal. So we don't want that for this example. We want to go up to the text tool, vertical text tool, and just create some blank text. And then we can drag the Digit Fiddler preset onto our layer. I'm going to go to time for this, and we can see now we've got some vertical time. And I'll set the time to the time expression, and that's just going to start counting. I'll just remove the hours and minutes just so that the text isn't so big. And now we can see that we've got some text counting. The weird thing is, is that the colon isn't as large as the other characters, so this would be an ideal candidate for monospacing to fix that. So if we turn on monospacing, by default it looks pretty weird, and that's because the text orientation is set to horizontal. But now we'll set it to vertical, and make sure that our paragraph alignment lines up with what we wanted. So in our case, we have text alignment set to top, which translates to left. If we're talking in horizontal terminology, translates to left align. Now we'll just increase the character size. And we also need to change the thresholding because the colon is considered two characters. So I'll just increase the Y threshold here. And there we go, that's looking better. And now character size in vertical, when we're using vertical text, refers to the height of the characters. And now this is also referred to as leading instead of tracking because we're talking about vertical. Now that we have monospacing turned on, we can see that all the characters are much better aligned than if we didn't have it turned on. And again, if we wanted to change the orientation of the text alignment, we could set it to bottom, for example, and, and then we would change this to right paragraph alignment. Now the leading will happen from the bottom, as we can see. So pretty similar to horizontal text, just working on a different axis. So those are the two new features, um, both suggested by users. So thank you for your suggestions, and I hope you enjoy using this version of Digit Fiddler. If you have any further suggestions, please let us know, and we'll be happy to consider them.